Hi guys, Alistair Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today's video is all about arm structure, or in particular, trying to keep this lead arm a little bit straighter during the backswing as we move the club back in the golf swing. So I'm gonna share with you a great drill you can do at home, on the range, or even on the golf course in between shots if you want to. But particularly wanna give you some things this time of year now that you can use at home. A lot of my viewers are based in Canada and I get various comments and emails from them saying that the snow is down on the ground now and they can't wait to try some of the drills but they have to wait until they either get to an indoor place or till the weather picks up. So hopefully this will help you. Keep watching to find out how. So I want to talk about really these arms and the structure of the back and give you a great drill that uh, Pete Cowan uses a lot really to try and get the arm structure in your golf swing a little bit better and, and give you some feels. So if we take our lead arm and place it out in front of you with a palm down to the ground and we take our trail arm and put palm up and push it down as well and push both arms towards the ground and feel that pressure into the arms pushing down. Now I've adapted this slightly to Pete. Pete has it the other way around with the hand. So this is my adaptation. I'll explain to you why in one second. So I want you to feel that pressure pushing down and really feel like these arms feel a little bit locked. Now the right arm obviously the elbow joint is facing more upwards, which is why I want this palm this way. Now, the reason I want that this way is when you swing the golf club back and we put this pressure down, we push away, it's going to allow our trail arm to fold. Now, I like a trail arm to fold in the backswing, but I do want it to feel wide. Okay, Let's step here and do this. I want it to feel wide, so I want arm fold and width at the same time. So this drill, feeling the structure and pushing away all the way to the top, helps us get wide classes, extensor action, helps us get the right width in the golf swing, but we still get a trail arm connection and fold. Now that for me gives us a lot of positives. It allows me to feel I have space and time so I don't rush my downswing. It allows me to feel that my trail elbow can get down in front of me in the downswing to allow me to get that pure contact that I'm looking for and that feeling of the elbow getting back to the ball line, pretty much pre-impact and then turn through the golf ball. So that structure really helps. Then in the downswing, I can still feel I'm applying the pressure and keep my palm facing up. That helps again that elbow move I want in the downswing. Then let the palm rotate and face where we want to go. So that kind of leads me into the full sequence of what I want the arms to do during the golf swing. So the idea would be we'd make a few reps doing that, maybe do it in the house, do it in the mirror, doing it watching television, and then we'd hit some golf balls. Obviously, if we're in the house, we can't hit golf balls, but if we're on the range, we can then pull a golf club out, then try and use the same feels and make a swing. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this ball now, and I'm gonna try and feel I have that same structure in my arms in the backswing. I feel like the pushing action, that extension action. So definitely felt a little bit wider in my backswing then than normal. And again, extension action is something that I wouldn't mind a little bit more of in my golf swing. So that structure, that arm, that strengthening the arm. And again, straightening the lead arm. Now the lead arm can bend from a few reasons. One can be grip, it can be too much in the palm of your hand, and two can be a kind of a tight lat down your left hand side physically. But this kind of feels will help give you the structure in your arms that I would like to see you have in the backswing. Have a go at this drill, post down below how you got on, post down below any questions or requests for any of the videos. I'd love to get you on board and hear your thoughts and get your feedback. Also, if you have enjoyed the video, please click like and share the video. That really helps my channel grow and I really appreciate if you could do that. Also, if you haven't subscribed, hit my logo down this bottom corner, join me on my journey and let's lower your scores. Lastly, thank you for watching and hopefully see you again here soon.